So what we got going on now is the chainsaw is out and I'm just uh, chopping the wood. So first and foremost, safety glasses. And- uh, Let me see your safety glasses, babe. I wear glasses normally, so I have to wear my glasses and safety glasses, but- Put the cap you, know, you have to protect your glasses and your eyes. It's better to be safe than blind. Um, so got the chainsaw out. Again, of course, no endorsement to steal. Still wants to endorse me, reach out, still. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> or I should say, still wants to sponsor us. By all means, still reach out. But I, I do have to say, it is a, a wonderful chainsaw. I've used it for a couple of years now, and it has not failed me even once. And it's 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 a great saw. It's it's a little heavy, but again, it just melts through the wood like butter, and, and I love it. And I'm going to put in on my earphones and music playing as form of my uh, ear protection. You want to protect your eyes, you also want to protect your hearing. And then it's just a matter of, of chopping the wood. And what I'll do is just get one of these pieces. I'm starting with this smaller pile of, you know, things that are too long that I just didn't feel like throwing all the way to the other pile. And a lot of this stuff is small, so once I cut it, I can just throw it over there to put it into the stack pile. And um, when I, like some of this bigger stuff that needs to be split, I'll just cut it and then throw it into the split pile. Then I'll move over into the other pile and just repeat the process. But like I said, so I'll stack it up. I have my same measuring PVC, give it a kind of a basic measurement. So I know, is this gonna need to be just simply split in half or do I need to cut it in thirds? And um, that's just gonna be a, a piece by piece kind of a situation, so. <laughs> done how do you feel tired long day i started sorting the wood at about 10 o'clock and uh four o'clock now it's six hours of sorting and cutting so it's a long day tiring so what we're we gonna do next well the next is to uh start splitting it but waiting on the friend to see if I can borrow the log splitter for that. Cut down we prick by mong ten o'clock, right? You start ten? Yeah. Cut cut down we mong mong dop, got rib chum, then we mong dop pay prick alone, mong boon, pumbay, nati, hi bong bone. Got twelve a hot, I mean some rat egg and some rat and thing to eat up and tie. Cut la hot, rib hai cut. Rung chum, poor ma. Things heavy. <laughs> Okay. 
Hey, Gun. How are you doing? Good. Flying mushrooms? No. No mushrooms. There we go. How do you do it? Push this down with my foot. Uh, we were struggling, you guys. Trying to figure out how to get the stand to go down. And now, see, that's it. The stand goes down like this. The wheel's gonna. No, that's not. Yeah, it should. Right. Have... Well, it's broken. That's not very encouraging. Oh, well, it's not broken. The. This is broken. Oh. Cause you're supposed to be able to pull this down and just uh take a and that's not gonna uh, some kind of rope and tie this together yeah okay so that's locked on put this back through let's make sure that it doesn't pop back off while you're driving Okay, see, so now it can't come off. Okay, no. Some kind of a so bungee easy. cord or something. So, other than securing that down, it's ready to go. Too small for you, baby. <laughs> put it back, baby. That's a toddler bike. Papa, put it back. That's a toddler's bike. Okay. So it doesn't have to be this aspect just because this little I mean these springs are gonna hold this in place anyway but we want to be a little on the safe side and so we're gonna use just this actual fishing line or a stringer that we had on the trunk and that's what we're gonna use just to tie this off just in case yeah. all right that's not gonna go anywhere all right and that's it guys Okay, bump on, mặt đọc tia hai. Ni hai cứ chia bật đáp. Pu ao. So đây bump on, ngày ni cứ chia ngày bận to. Bộ nhem nên finish our wood cutting. Yep. What are we calling it? Wood day? Wood day. <laughs> Wood day video four or five. So uh, we got the, we're on the next day now. It's the 12th of September. And uh, like I said, yesterday we were able to get all of the wood sorted and then cut down to size. Went and got the, borrowed the log splitter from a good friend. So now it's a thing of getting the log splitter just set up and we've towed it over to the back wood pile and we'll set it up to where that way we can be in the shade or just say I can be in the shade and uh, fire, work smart. fire it up and start splitting logs. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pull it right over there. They can, uh, you might notice I got an awesome Christmas shirt on because every day is Christmas when it's rural life with the Rosses. <laughs> and as you might see, I am the professional mistletoe tester. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, so now we got the leg down and it's a matter of just dragging it into the place. 
better than doing it by axe that's for sure <laughs> that's good but uh just gotta shut it off because my my stack is starting to get a little large here and so it's gonna throw it over in the pile and then keep working my way through the through the logs but i mean it, it's pretty fast all in all like it was much faster than doing it by hand yep i think it's gonna be quick i think i'm gonna be done in uh, maybe an hour or so oh <laughs> ក៏ប៉ុន្តែមិនមែនជាពូអស់ជាមួយបន្ថោនណាបងប្អូនគឺជាពូអស់ជាមួយម៉ាស៊ីនកាប់អស់ទីស្រួលគេមានម៉ា
All done, babe? All done splitting. Now we just gotta unbury the splitter so we can back it out, clean it off, and take it back to our good friend. But I tell you, it is awesome to have friends because doing all of that, I mean, you can get a, you get a panoramic view of where this is and it stretches all the way in over to the corner of the deck, basically. Trying to do all that by hand with weeks, literally weeks. Hi, hi, bump on. Well, at least for me. <laughs> hi, hi, bump on. Book him on pool. Oh, hi, hi. My son, but how pool off? Good year. Oh, charmin. So, how men look bong? Well done. Peace out now. Little tip, guys if you're gonna borrow something from somebody, like a machine or something, take it back cleaner than it was when you got it. That's just a general rule of thumb of of being respectful and showing gratitude for somebody letting you borrow their things. And fill up the gas tank. <laughs> yeah, never take it back with an empty tank. Yes. Even if you got it with an empty tank, take it back with the full tank. Yes. So, bang po nay, hi hi, alo ne puok nyam ban chak sang, hoi kot ping ping sang hoi. See, hoi kot ping sang. Hoi sang hoi sang kot ping hoi, alo ne puok nyam nang sam at masin masin pu o. Yang kei kei, yang cai tae sam at hoi, yang yo ai kei wen pleem pleem, kam ai kei bi tha thun top nang yeng a. Lek rai kei man ai kei tie bi yeng kei kei pon kei yu man ngai yo ai kei wen. You think, babe, you think it's going to be enough? I think so. Yeah. Combined with the, the two rows that we already have, and as long as our uh, fireplace performs as it as they allege, then it should be, it should be good. Okay. But we'll find out in a few months. Yep. All right, bump on. Of concern. The bantos na alo nik nyam nang chui krosak nyam rip chom mantik sam at kalai mantik. The reason why we're throwing it here is, well, I'm just unburying the wood splitter, the log splitter, so I can clean it up and take it back. But we don't know how much wood it's going to take to fill up our stack underneath our uh, underneath our deck where we store our wood that we're going to burn for the winter. So whatever is excess is going to go right back on the pallets and just be stacked up there. So uh, I figure we'll just throw it here and because um, i'm pretty confident that we'll fill up those rows before oh, yeah. reaching this corner yeah because uh last year we put our wood right here if you go back to our videos this is where we stash our wood that's well, um, the, the quote unquote extra wood extra wood yeah the wood that doesn't fit under the deck yep so kalai ni basan chia no bit tia nang chia eat hai peng hai po kiam nang ma riep no lo riep oh nang tok lo rien ni ma dong tiet bang pon Alright, so okay, junk ban high, If it wasn't hot, I'd actually pressure wash it down, but you don't want to spray hot metal with cold water. You can run a risk of breaking something, but it is cleaner than when we borrowed it. Mission accomplished. Okay, I'm going to go take a tea. Chow root your high. Hello, Nee. Do you like having high? All right. Hello, ni. Yung thua dam na yu ai ke bing. Thang ai ne pleang han tiep ban pu co lan tiep ai bang pao nei. Chang ai. Ke tha no mer le ni se dieng rui sok mai pan tai khiem ma dang te ma pi khiem ma dai ban tau sok mai phong tang pi tuit ma tang pi chen ma. So before it start to rain, I guess uh, the husband wants to stack some wood. Oh, the saw. This is what it's left. I think he's going to organize it. What's your plan, babe? Uh, What's we, your plan? Um, 
yesterday we were able to beat the rain in stacking the wood in the area underneath our deck where we keep the wood underneath the tarp to keep it dry and so that way it can season. So this is the rest of the wood that we're going to now stack up into these the same area uh, just as kind of like a reserve. So it's already chopped and split. We just need to organize it a little bit better so that way um, you know it's, it's up off the ground and we can actually close our gate and, and access back in this area again. And then that way once the uh, when the winter's over hopefully we won't burn through all of the wood that's up there and if we don't then we'll just come back and grab from whatever we have here to take it up and, and refill that pile so what's your techniques how are you stacking it well because the slats of the the pallets go this way um, what i'm going to do is is start off by kind of building a like a retaining wall of sorts You use that kind of log cabin style stacking methods on the ends so that way you can build up kind of like a column and this will be a little bit sturdier and then in between the two columns then you just stack the wood in there and the columns keep it retained so you can stack it up high and so as you can see that's where we're at I got the first little uh, row against the fence pretty well done I mean I could go a little bit higher but I don't really want to go too much higher than the, than the fence level here but uh, starting to work on the, the second row, and so we'll, we'll see how far we get. Looks very good. But look, babe, I almost got her to where we can walk through here. <laughs> yeah, it smells very, very, very fresh. I know it's been cut for a couple of days, it's just lazier, but it still feels... It's been like a week, honestly. Yeah. Still... I, I split all this on uh, Sunday, uh, last week. It's now Saturday. Still feels nice and fresh. I like it. All right, guys, so one of the things that you might notice is that in this stack, all we have so far is split pieces. And that's why I'm actually trying to cut my way here so I can start getting access to those unsplit round pieces. So I can start stacking those intermixed within because I don't want to have uh, a period where I'm burning purely uncut or unsplit rounds or, or a period where I'm burning purely split. I mean, if you have purely split, that's great if all of your uh, chunks of wood or pieces of wood are big enough to be split but with that pile back there a lot of it went into the pile under the deck to be burned this winter but it was not uh, consistently that you know you would mix in split versus unsplit and as soon as I get a little path then that's what I'll be doing is going back and grabbing a number of rounds just to kind of place them sporadically so as we're grabbing to replenish they get grabbed sporadically and then as we're grabbing to bring them in to burn, they get grabbed and burned sporadically as well. So that way it mixes those in uh, at the same time. Okay, bang bon. Kurosanya merip oh hi hi. It's all done. He got it all done and put away. Nice and tidy. This is it. That's the backyard. That's all we have left. I'll show you right here. We finally got our walkway, our path back. It's all covered. Got ban crop plastic ni. Come oi pleang plea cho sam oh.
the knee. He does the the walls, Nanjiang. Oh, book him in the Penang Bang Pon. Group a high and come touch Namne or Kwa of day. Okay, the Penang Ang, some Akon Chan. Thank you very much for watching and. Like I said, this is uh, the way that we put our wood away, getting ready for this coming winter. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Akunchran, take care. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.